We're on the verge of one of the most epic death scenes in any horror film ever. Come on, yeah! I like to party. It's not as offensive as this one. And creepy shit. So his own fat ass. I like to party. What a 15 year old would think is cool or funny. A tin! A tin! A fucking tin! What is that, velvet? They pulled it off by having a rotating room, if you don't know. Which is interesting because before I knew that, I never even questioned it. I never bothered to think about how they did that. And the fact that they didn't have digital effects and the like, how did they make it look like she was being pulled up the wall and drug across the ceiling? And they fucking tipped the room over. They had the camera and the chair and everything and Wes strapped in, mounted to the floor. Then they flipped the room over and had her crawl around on the ceiling, which is now the new floor, while Wes is strapped upside down filming her. That's, that shit's crazy. The ingenuity. To me, a lot of the beauty in the genre of horror and classic films in general is the ingenuity. The fact that they weren't able to just mask it with digital and just computer generate everything and they actually had to figure out in the physical world how to make this stuff happen. And there's not a kit you can buy or anything like that. You actually have to come up with uses for things that they were not intended for. You have to say, I need something that does this. Well, that would probably work. And and I, to me, that's the fun, that's like the truth. That's one of the most beautiful things about what it is to be a person. That might sound stupid or, but the, I love ingenuity and we're, we've lost a lot of that as a, as a culture, as a people, as a race. The idea that there wasn't always a perfect thing for you to use for this and you have to creatively come up with it. How do we make this look like it's that? I love that shit. This right here, practical effects, my god. Freddy coming out of the wall or ceiling, I can't, is it the wall? But his face pushing through, uh, the way, like, you. I have trouble not or believing that it's not digital when I see it because it's so well done. It's so seamless that it it feels like something that was done digitally, but the like the best way that digital could be done. Of course, I'm probably an asshole. Watch, I'm watching some remastered version and they did do that digitally. Like the fucking digital monsters they added into the original Star Wars trilogy. I didn't even realize that they'd done it. I put on A New Hope you know, it's all in HD and it's pretty and everything. And they get to, uh, God damn it. What's the name of the town? The town where they, where Luke and Obi-Wan go to meet Han. They get to that place and there's digital dinosaur straight out of Jurassic Park one looking shit walking around with him. It totally ruins the aesthetic. Oh God. Woo. That slash. I, I just watched Guns Akimbo a day or two ago, and it's a problem that I have with a lot of movies. The digital blood, the digital wounds, and the digital blood look so bad. It cannot compare to something that is actually physically there. I can tell that it doesn't exist. I can tell that that's not blood on that person. I can tell that it's something that was added to the image of that person. Here, she has shit all over her. Now, it's a little bit light to be blood. It may not come off exactly realistic, but it looks way better than fucking painting on there with a computer. And Guns Akimbo it has so many gunshots and wounds and blood splatter and everywhere. And it's just like, it's just digital all over the place. Rob Zombie did it in Three From Hell. It's a bunch of digital blood, and I hate it. <laughs> 